Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today, we are going to be further analyzing, or rather further uh, updating you guys about what this MCC trailer that was posted yesterday might actually mean. Yesterday I made a video that was just kind of a reaction, so my first thoughts. Afterwards, on stream, I don't have that pulled up, so if you don't know what the Wolfie channel on Twitch is, look up wolfie on twitch you'll find it but on stream after the little among us session uh, i sat down for roughly an hour i think um just looking into this trailer much deeper and much deeper and thinking of more options or more possibilities in terms of what it may be like what 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 are these things that we're getting told okay what is this like what what is what is this i mean this is the hub but we know the hub what is this and what is this more particular these two things are the biggest mysteries everything else is pretty clear but this one people are very much up in the air about and this what people are up in the air about i think i might know what it is but we're gonna get into it either way yeah uh the the i made a video about this yesterday i made a post here that updates it there's also reddit posts that get deeper into it we read both of these on stream yesterday these, these essentially say a similar thing to what I thought, except um, they talk about uh, this, uh, hold up, sorry, this specific part being team introductions. Now, I'm not convinced that that's the case. Uh, the, the main argument that people have against this being a game is that the players aren't wearing boots. That could have been a massive oversight. I'm just going to keep it real. There's a very good chance that they just forgot you never know maybe that maybe this game doesn't have boots i don't know either way i wouldn't say well there's no boots and take that as a full confirmation as to it not being a game my main reasons for as i uh, for me being like confused with it being a game or not is that um they seem to be building different things which is odd but also uh <laughs> One thing that I think is important to notice is a good amount of these players are focused on something, right? Whether they're just focused on like building their little team introduction or whatnot, um, they are paying attention to something. And in the background here, I saw this orange bit and kind of like uh, between the pillars and the left, the, the stripped wood pillars is a little bit of orange right above the red part. Um, it's very, very small sliver, which I thought was like, oh, it's like a, a thing that the orange team is looking at to replicate. No clue if that's the case. It could just be red sand, but like shape wise, I was looking at it is like, well, this is particularly like square, whatever. Overlooking uh, or, or uh, more so. Yeah, I, not overlooking. Sorry. Um, hyper analyzing the situation. People seem to be convinced from these posts and from the stream yesterday. Um, if I scroll down here uh this that this is a um uh that this is either a team introduction thing that you build on during the hub which my argument against that is why <laughs> it could be but why like i think something like building your own team introductions is fun for the first one or two times but after the second time having to do it again and again, because this isn't going to be like done in a minute. This takes a little bit, right? This 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 takes a little bit to make a little build. People sometimes may want more chances to do it or less. And maybe you can do this the entire time before the event, or maybe it only activates for a part of it. Some people only show up just a, a little bit of time beforehand. You know, like I feel like it would be a little bit too involved. Also, people's argument uh, in my chat yesterday was that um, maybe MCC is just trying to make their team intros different from the Block Wars ones, but I feel like the MCC team intro is better than the Block Wars one. As much as it is as it came afterwards, it is better, I think, because they have this like cool camera feature that the players can look at while they're doing at it. So they, it's literally just a little camera that's like hovering around, which is super simple, but super cool. I think it's like sick. So why would they change that? Like that's already a cool feature. I think that's something where MCC does not need to take that extra step above and make it more like, you know, crazy. Cause I think it's already cool. So I don't know. I don't think this is team interest. I think this is a new game. How does it work as a new game? I don't know. I mean, the one argument I had yesterday, which is going to be really hard to see because we're working with like 
480p here is um, this orange shirt guy on the blue wall. This is Nicholas. He's holding an item which to me looks like a clipboard. It's like, you know, like this rectangular like uh, cardboard or like wooden boards with a little clip at the top. That is probably, to me, a task list of, or something. Um, maybe something that they need to complete. Now, the one thing against this, and this is me yet again hyper analyzing the situation, is Nicholas is kind of just loafing around here. You know, he's kind of just flying around doing nothing. Um, whether they are, whether they were intentionally told to just kind of record this and, and chill, or whether this is just like not an actual game or whether Nicholas doesn't like it or doesn't care or just it wasn't really paying attention. I don't know. Who knows, right? But like, you know, this red person here uh, in the yellow hoodie as well, kind of looking around, not really doing much. You see like just this two of the red players are building. Then if you look further, like there's some players that are building fast. Some people are just kind of standing there. Like if you, if you look in the background behind this yellow hoodie person, there's like a person in blue with like a pink cape or whatever. And um, they haven't moved. <laughs> they just kind of stand there. So who knows what this could be? Uh, they made it a very good mystery. I'm, I'm just saying it's good that we can't tell for sure what this is. Um, another thing that I mentioned um, I should probably just uh, also read my comments that I left yesterday to get the full information because I wrote that comment after the stream. But I have since changed my mind a little bit, maybe. Um, this decoration uh, within the game, like the size and decoration of this, is similar to the hub because it's an island. If you look at the, the way that they, they built things, MCC has a, a build style that they kind of just stick to and, um, you know, it is an island. It, 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 it could be the same thing. I mean, it's like the same build style. So maybe this is in the hub. Who knows? Uh, I can't conclude anything. I could, I'm literally 50-50. The thing is, I'm leaning it being a game because I think from the Noxer's perspective, if, if there's this whole thing about like, well, we don't like build Mart and we want a new building game or we want something else, right? They see the community feedback. Okay, whether they listen to it or whether they agree is a whole different story, but they see it sometimes, uh, at least, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, like, this could just very much be that new building game that people have been asking for to replace Build Mart. I think it's possible. Some people will probably be not very happy with it replacing Build Mart, but I'm sure Build Mart could see its way back into the roster in something like uh, a Pride or something like whatever, right? Um... I think this could be a different new building game. I mean, you know, I, th I think it's possible. Uh, MCC definitely could benefit from having another, you know, team-ish game. I feel like usually the the game roster is either PvP heavy or movement heavy. You don't really typically see it being like uh, miscellaneous heavy because there's only three options. So if a third of the of the games are miscellaneous, that's perfect. But then, you know, it's got to be weighed out by three PvP games and three movement games or whatever. Or sometimes switch up the format. I don't know. Anyways, uh, my thoughts on this is possibly a new game. How would it work? I don't know. They intentionally, I think, maybe, didn't show what the other side of the map looks like or didn't show, like, anything. They showed one angle, which is usually what they do because of replay mod. It just looks nicer. But, um, you know... Here they show one angle, but in this next part, they show two. So like, it's all on purpose. It's intentional, okay? they This is teasing, so people discuss it. And the, you got me, you got me, Noxter. I, I fell for the bait, you got me. I also wanna give you guys a good hype season, so that's why. <laughs> um, so yeah, this game, or whatever this is, who knows, okay, who knows? People are saying either hub, part where you make team intros or just hub part where you can build or something or new game building game because these players are in creative mode i mean if you want to hyper analyze it again in this frame if you look on the left this person is instantly breaking this leaf while flying that is there's no like breaking animation that is just them punching it in creative mode so these these people are fully in creative mode or in whatever type of creative mode the you know they, they can be given so yeah, it, it, up to you to decide, I guess, which you want to believe. I think new building game, 
but I could also see it being a hub thing because there's a lot of things that are leading hub. But there's a lot of things that wouldn't really make sense. Uh, or, or at least there's a lot of things here that make it seem like it's in the hub. You have this flag, this big flag, which is also in the hub right there. It's like almost the same thing. Does that mean that it's like confirmed the same thing? Because no, it's not the same flag, actually. The flag here is going downwards with the crown and this flag here is 3D and it's not going downwards with the crown. So like, I don't know, man. <laughs> It's not the same flag. It could just be the build style. Maybe maybe the build style is just the same coincidentally and honestly I'd be okay with that. So I think game most people think not game hub Sure, we'll see. Okay, we'll see Because that leads us to our next point Which is this Now yesterday, I don't remember exactly what I was talking about in terms of analyzation and whatever this is a game confirmed if you want to use the boots argument they have boots on so this is a game for sure, but <laughs> it's not a game that we've seen before, or at least not in this style slash format because grid runners is the most popular uh, thought behind this. You people think it's going to be grid runners and I agree, but grid runners is not this large. Okay. Cause we can very much tell that this is, uh, this is uh, like uh, one start of a room with a door that they break during the game. It's not like a grid runners door opening. It's during the game. They break this room or this door and it leads to this well this might not be the exact follow-up level but this is still the same game it's the same mechanics players are holding here if we look at these people players here are holding rails you know to place they are holding pickaxes so and right here they're holding pickaxes they're holding rails it's the same kits that they're using and this would probably showcase the same game now, coincidentally, and maybe, all right, not even coincidentally, maybe it's on purpose. This first block breaking, like, shot doesn't actually showcase the TNT, like, cart. It's not there. So, they, they cut that out on purpose, I think, probably. Um, but it is the same thing, probably. Also, what, what this shows me, this TNT cart, is probably a distance-based game where you might have to be efficient or a time-based game, it's the same thing, essentially. I just assume that it might be easier to make it distance-based or time-based. It doesn't really matter. But I think the way that this game is supposed to work, probably, is that you're supposed to make a efficient bridge. Because these players have pickaxes, right? Now, this could just be for the rails. I also see pink blocks behind Dong Fortnite here. I'm assuming that those were manually placed, probably. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that you manually place those and then you can place rails on it to make it more efficient. I assume that's how this gameplay works. Either way, conclusion, or not conclusion, speculation on this game. I think this is grid runners, but reworked slash revamped. My argument is grid runners, I know for a fact, has been genuinely a pain in the ass to deal with for the Nox Roof because as much as it's a fun game, and I still think grid runners is a fun game, it is a game that is required to be updated every single time it's played. And it's not just a small update that they can do, they have to almost change the entire pool of rooms every single time. They don't have to make new pools of rooms every single time, but they have to change the entire lineup. And I think it's like nine rooms. That's a lot of workload, okay? That's not something that they just do super quickly because they have to still make new rooms or make changed rooms, etc. What I think they may have done, and this is my uh, theory, um, is that they might have just revamped grid runners to be um, more, or sorry, less rooms, but larger rooms where one task, one room in total may take uh, way more time to complete, but you only do like four or five, which essentially would be the PB game, but just in a grid runners continuous format. Um, now this was something that was mentioned in, uh, I think this post, uh, was it this one? It might be this one. Um, I don't know if it is for sure. 
But um, it, I think someone mentioned it in this, it might have been this post where they mentioned it. Uh, but either way, people are speculating it might be a new game separate from Grid Runners as well. It's either, the, the conclusion here is 50-50. Same with, with this earlier, sorry, this earlier part with th this section. This is either new building game slash build revamp, but both of those are... We'll, we'll group them together. A new game with building mechanics, or it's something in the hub, probably team intros. 50-50. One of those two is what people are guessing. It could be something entirely different, but this is what people are assuming is the 50-50 uh, options. This, 50-50, it's either grid runners, but like slightly reworked, or just a new room that happens to be insanely massive, but it's probably slightly reworked because, like said, Grid Runners is a pain in the ass to deal with. I think the Nux would probably want to make it, or maybe in specific Daniel Iltem, uh, because he is the main guy working on MCC, I think. Um, probably wants to make it a little bit easier on himself and still provide the same level and quality of gameplay, which this would successfully do. Um, and that would also maybe partially explain the extra delay, because something like this takes a while to make, okay? <laughs> making the grid runners rooms or changing the grid runners rooms or whatever that probably takes a little bit of time so if that were to be the case grid runners refamp i think is the most likely thing to do the other option of the 50 50 is this being an entirely different new game but i don't think that's the case because i don't see mcc making two games of the same genre not just genre niche genre because it's a puzzle solving game like a teamwork puzzle solving game I don't see them making two of those games, especially when this appears to have a similar format. Now, obviously, this could just be one section of the game. It could be just one little part of it. Or maybe this game is just about TNT and, and carts and whatever, which I think is possible, um, but who knows? Um, either way, like I think this is more likely Gridrunner's rework, revamp, etc. to be larger rooms, longer objectives, but less total objectives then it is a new game, but it might be a new game. That's that's my 50-50 on this. So just wanted to throw that out there. Also, uh, another thing, um, yeah, by the way, this is obviously the new hub. Um, another thing that we can see here is on the, on the left, there is this like carpet uh, that leads to the winners, or sorry, not the winners, the individual board um, room, but at the bottom. Now, oh, now this could very much just be a separate place now maybe this is like an entrance or like a second entrance or like an exit uh, from the the records area essentially right that was there before but um yeah just a little detail to throw in also there appear to be coin crates on the right here uh, if you look on the right there is a coin crate in the like right middle part of the screen um at least we assume that's a coin crate it looks like a coin crate why is there a coin crate who knows <laughs> Uh, I don't really have an answer for that. Can you earn points during the hub now? Uh, uh, probably not, because I feel like you want the, the hub and the time in between games to be a little bit of a chance to relax and not have to worry about the gameplay the entire time. I feel like if you added points to the hub and made it so people have to get points in the hub, people would freak out and it would be a bit too stressful. So I think this is just purely decoration. Some people were speculating this might have gameplay involvement. I think it's purely decoration because if they just added points to the hub, that means people have to pay attention the entire three hours of MCC and not just the, the games themselves, okay? <laughs> I think it would be too much. Um, another thing I think uh, was here. People were speculating that this 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 decision dome was gonna be the roster or th yeah the the pool of games for MCC 36 or whatever the first MCC of uh, season four is. I think we on stream have pretty much deconfirmed it. It could still be the case, but there's two things. First, without looking at other events, my analysis of this roster of games is that there's five games missing. I'm pretty sure. Now, obviously, there's two slots remaining, right? There's two slots that could still be added to this. But there's five games remaining. Four of those are, like, the most recent new games. Um, from most recent to not most recent, Bingo. Bingo is not in this selection right now. Now, like said, two slots are remaining. So a game could have been played and a game could have, could yet to, uh, could be yet to be added to um, the, the circle. But... Missing Bingo, most recent new slash updated game. Bingo's only been played like 
twice. So it's definitely not getting benched. I would be highly, highly, uh, or highly doubt that they would bench Bingo. Next, um, there is Parkour Warrior. Parkour Warrior, there's a chance that's benched because Parkour Tag is in this pool. But I don't know if they would bench Parkour Warrior necessarily. I could see them coming back with a bunch of new levels or whatever. And um, Parkour Warrior is just in rotation and it's all, all, all good and everyone's happy, right? Uh, Meltdown is not in this roster either. Uh, Meltdown is like a staple MCC game as much as a portion of the players don't really like it. Um, I feel like it is, you know, a, a game that is really liked. And yet again, those three games are the three most recent new games in MCC. Plus, the game that was introduced before, if I remember correctly, I think was Rocket Spleef Rush, which is also not on this dome. And especially Rocket Spleef Rush is one that I think deconfirms that this is the real pool unless it has already been played or it's you know played uh, not not yet to be appearing in dome rocket Speed rush is getting if rocket Speed is getting added to mcci get them putting it in the first mcc is a massive opportunity to advertise and market the rocket Speed rush on mcci why would they not put it in the first event i don't know that wouldn't make sense to me okay that's that's my main argument another game that's not here i think uh is ace race ace race is like the mcc game that's like the one that you would think of probably first for MCC. Maybe SOT would be the first one, but Ace versus like top three MCC games. Why would that not be here? And I think out of those five games I just mentioned, I think four of those probably will be in and none of those are in here with maybe two of them potentially being in. Anyways, um, point two as to why this is not probably the actual roster is because these are the exact same games from MCC 29. And, uh, <laughs> or at least for the most part, the two games that I think were missing were Meltdown, maybe? No, it wasn't Meltdown. There was two games out of the games I just mentioned. It might have been Parker Warrior and, and something else, uh, or whatever, right? Maybe Build Mart or something. I don't know. I don't remember, okay? I'm going to keep it real. I don't remember. But these are the exact same games, or at least these seven games we see right now were all in MCC 29, with the, the two remaining slots probably going to whatever the other two were that uh, we currently don't see. I don't remember the exact uh, games they were, but if you look on the MCC wiki for MCC 29, you'll find this game roster. And we assume it is just the MCC 29 game roster because well, I don't think this makes sense right now to be the first roster of games for MCC to, to come back with, in my opinion. Anyways, um, yeah, that, that is most of the trailer that we can analyze that is new. Also turns out, I was like kind of freaking out about this uh, particle thing at the end. Uh, well, not freaking out. I was just mentioning like, oh, there's particles, blah, blah, whatever. Apparently, this has been a thing uh, for a while. Uh, someone in my chat said that this particle thing was already introduced in season three. Uh, it just wasn't mentioned or nobody seemed to notice. So um, everyone in my chat was like, oh, it's new. No, it's new. It was not. Apparently, apparently that was been has been a thing for a while. Um, so yeah, that is very cool. We are also assuming that this uh, Basins thing is now back for uh, MCC, assuming that they fixed the Tridents, obviously, or the Collision. Um, so that, I, I assume, is probably the case here. Probably no Trident Collision here. I mean, it's pretty clear because there's a lot of players going at the same time. This would not nearly be as smooth if Collision was uh, was turned uh, turned on. Also, this person who went first here, I don't know who this is. That looks like it could be Tussin. I think that might be Tussin. I could be wrong. Um, they do this look, little twirl and then they fail. <laughs> Congratulations! Anyways, um, that is the trailer. One more thing uh, before we get into this. Yeah, here's my comment, by the way, um, if you want to look at what I already said. But yeah, either way, one more thing. People, people are paying attention, man. People are paying very, very close attention to who is liking the MCC tweet. And one person in particular who liked the MCC tweet is Smallant. Now, some people write this off as like, oh, Copium, oh, you know, so many people liked it. Every micro player liked it, lol. That means like nothing. Mm, I don't agree. I think... This, uh, you know, this could potentially be a bit of a, uh, oops, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I think Smant's possibly going to be an MCC, um, maybe. I think this is a, a hint. I don't think uh, this is necessarily on purpose, but I think it's possible that Smant might be an MCC. Um, it makes sense, okay, it makes sense. Season 4, they want to come back, right, w with like a big launch. 
maybe they just want to get one of their most long requested newcomers to finally play in the event i think it's possible i don't think it's confirmed but i think it's pretty pretty likely so uh you know if we're gonna do like prediction streams and stuff i'm probably just gonna be like hey guys let's try to put samantha in let's just predict it because i think it's likely but not confirmed i guess right um who knows for all we know the team is might not have even been finished yet for mcc so anyways just wanted to recap everyone on this uh mcc trailer i hope you all enjoy i hope you all have enjoyed uh, yap me hearing me yap i probably won't be talking about this specific video anymore because it's a 50 not even 50 second video and you know how much content i made out of the 50 second video the video from yesterday the video from right now and in like a one hour portion of my stream bro i'm like i'm dante i'm yapping so much about something that's like almost nothing anyways thank you all for watching i'll see you all later and goodbye